You know it. You love it. Survivor. No, not that Survivor. It's one of the most important reality competition shows of all time, and one of the best. There's the cast, the drama, the stunning locations, and the clever gameplay. Every element of Survivor works in a way that few TV shows live up to. So let's crack open a coconut and bring Jeff your torch, because this is Survivor. Oh, if you could make it in Detroit, you could make it anywhere. What the hood? The hood is not the wood. Throughout the 21st century, reality TV has morphed into one of the most popular forms of entertainment. But in the year 2000, the concept of throwing a bunch of people on a desert island and giving the person who lasts the longest a million bucks was truly groundbreaking. Everyone's curiosity was piqued. Is this actually dangerous? Are these people going to get all Lord of the Flies out there? This is Survivor. Welcome to the game. Survivor premiered on May 31st, 2000, and we all quickly learned that the actual gameplay of the show is fascinating. Sixteen or more players have to survive in the wilderness for 39 days with nothing but the clothes on their back. They're sometimes given gear like tarps and fire starting kits, but not always. The players are then divided into two tribes, and the tribes compete in deviously creative challenges each week for tribal immunity. The losing tribe must vote off one player. Eventually, the tribes merge, and the players are then competing for individual immunity every week. Those challenges and twists are a huge part of what makes Survivor so exciting. The physical endurance challenges and twists like the Brawn vs. Brains vs. Beauty season, Millennials vs. Gen X, New Players vs. Past Contestants, no matter what curveball is thrown, the point is always the same. I thought they were sending you home tonight. One of the last three survivors will be voted on by their fellow contestants to win a million dollars. A million dollars is cool. You know what's cooler? The hero's journey. Yeah, yeah, call us corny, but it's fascinating to watch ordinary people in extraordinary circumstances. I have one shoe, not the other shoe. That is the story of my life. Removing people from their normal worlds and putting them on a physical, intellectual, and spiritual quest is no small thing. What was that? And players often describe the experience as transformational. Think about it. 16 very different people from all walks of life, the girl next door, the retired Navy SEAL, the Ivy League lawyer, and so on, all have to rely on each other to survive. But they also have to vote one another out to win that money. You guys are good. Survivor stays engaging year after year, not by radically changing the game, but changing the players. It always works. And it always stays fresh. Because, hey, who doesn't want to see new contestants in beautiful new locations every year? The casting is a huge part of what makes Survivor so appealing, and stand the test of time. No matter who you are, every season, there's going to be a person you can relate to in some way. I like older people. We are extremely poor. And maybe the only thing more fun than finding a contestant you love is finding one you love to hate. But the most important thing to remember about Survivor is the personalities that are cast are almost always on point. And though it may take some time to get to know the cast, getting sucked in by the beautiful locations takes no time at all. Gorgeous Borneo, the rugged Australian outback, a paradise in Africa that was fenced in to keep the lions out, historic Mayan ruins in Guatemala, the Amazon rainforest near sunken pirate ships in Panama. These are some of the most dynamic locations on Earth and Survivor's high production value, not to mention the advent of HD, brought in fans as interested in David Attenborough as they are in the real world. But maybe the most interesting person on Survivor is host Jeff Probst. The show couldn't exist without him. Survivor could easily lean into reality TV silliness, but Probe's seriousness means the fans are also able to take the show seriously. One of the craziest tribals ever. It is. Time to vote. During Tribal Council, which in and of itself could be silly if you really think about it, he's just a master of reading the contestants and getting them to reveal game information in front of each other and the viewers that have massive impacts on the game. So in case it's not clear by now, the best parts of Survivor are all of the parts. <laughs>